Struggling to remember hotkeys for your creative apps? Let me show you how you can increase your productivity with Virtual Stream Deck by Elgato. This tool is more than just putting buttons on your screen. You know in most shooter games how you can hold a key and it'll bring up a weapon wheel? We can do that with Virtual Stream Deck. But obviously instead of weapons, we'll have tools for our apps. Head to the devices dropdown of your Stream Deck software and select add virtual device. This will prop up a brand new device and profile and it'll default to a three by two grid. Head into the settings and change the layout to a three by three. And this will be our weapon wheel of tools for Premiere Pro, but you can use this for any program that requires a bunch of hotkeys. Now we want to change it to dynamic, which means it will appear wherever your mouse cursor is. And we also want to check the auto hide setting to hide after the action is triggered. This means once we've selected our tool in Premiere, the virtual stream deck will disappear out of the way until we need it again. To make it appear, set a hotkey that is easy to reach. This means you only have to remember a single hotkey to have access to eight tools. Let's set the hotkey to Alt A and make the key size about 70 pixels. To make it a bit cleaner, I'm also going to remove the background entirely. To do this, select the background color and in the alpha channel box, make that zero. Let's add eight hotkeys from Premiere that we use on a regular basis, like our selection tool, razor, track selection, ripple trim, sequence start, undo, redo, and delete. Now that they're all placed around the edge of the three x three grid, we're going to toggle the hide unused keys button and that's it. Now, when you press Alt A, your eight tools will come up around your mouse pointer and will automatically disappear once you've selected the action. If you need more than eight keys, you can absolutely add more rows or columns to that set of buttons, or you could set up another three x three grid with a different hotkey. And if you wanna get even more fancy with it, you could have something with Stream Deck integration like the Scimitar Elite Mouse, and you could set up 12 different hotkeys, each with their own virtual Stream Deck menus. If you're having trouble accessing the virtual Stream Deck option, you will need a physical Stream Deck device to be connected to your computer every 30 days and you'll need Stream Deck 7.0 installed. You can also use this if you're traveling without taking a physical Stream Deck with you, as long as you've had a Stream Deck plugged into the device at some stage in the last few weeks. If you have any apps you want me to create specific profiles for, let me know in the comments.